A woman in Connecticut remains hospitalized in critical condition this morning after being viciously mauled by a chimpanzee on Monday, and police are still trying to determine what set off the attack. Michelle Geelan reports. Sandy Harold, the owner of Travis the Chimpanzee, says she keeps reliving the horror of her pet attacking her best friend. It's a tragedy on both parts, for my friend and for him and me. Her friend Charlotte Nash managed Harold's towing business, where Travis the Chimp was a mascot. He was my life. I raised him since he was three and a half weeks old. Harold is a widow who fed Travis steak and lobster and even let him sleep in her bed. I, I cooked for him, I shopped for him, I lived with him, I slept with him. But on Monday, something went terribly wrong. Travis was agitated and police say she gave him Xanax, hoping to calm him down just minutes before the attack. He's killing my friend! Travis had escaped from the house and Harold called Charlotte Nash for help. But Nash, with a new hairstyle, waved a stuffed toy unfamiliar to the chimp. The only thing I could think of is that it, it was, he thought that she was going to harm me or whatever. Harold grabbed a knife and stabbed her beloved pet. For me to do something like that, put a knife in him, was like putting one in myself. And then he turned around and like, Mom, what did you do? Police arrived and shot and killed Travis. Nash suffered gruesome bite wounds and remains hospitalized in critical condition. Michelle Galen, CBS News, New York.